there's some people who send me this stuff i don't want y'all to be mad or whatever hit me asking me to read the paperwork for them and and do all this and to be honest i asked them when i when i read the paperwork i'm gonna show you when i read the paperwork i asked them like bro so like is this saying what i think it's saying because it's a big saying you know what i'm saying so <laughs> so the, the dude who sent me the paperwork we're gonna keep his name out of it but it's one of my people the people who the dude who sent me the paperwork said a little slick he, he got a little slick talking when i got to asking him did he see the same shit i saw you know what i'm saying and i think people forgot man um going back to 2021 2020 whatever you want to call it bro we've been dropping niggas paperwork bro i'm not gonna say we the first people to drop people paperwork i'm not gonna say we the second what i'm gonna say is that this current wave everybody right now that's pulling paperwork that's dropping videos that's doing this shit, we started that shit, period so if you ever felt like oh oh man i like i said i'm talking to a friend of mine and dude get a little slick you see what i'm saying oh man oh what you don't know how to read the paperwork nigga we started the paperwork game man breaking breaking story breaking story man they got paperwork on the homie big meech man oh man what paperwork have released showing that big meech was locked up with a guy who owned a trucking company when this guy got out of jail in 2012, he was connected to another guy from St. Louis. The trucking company was supposed to bring the product to St. Louis. In between all of that, and remember, Big Meat set all this up. In between all of that, a confidential informant was part of that play. Call, let him do the deal. Let him take the shit to St. Louis. Let him use his trucks. The feds came and got everybody. Um, and like I said, man, I, I just want to. I'm finna share the screen with you right now, bro, because I already got it pulled up. Like I said, we gonna talk about other stuff. But here go the here go the paperwork right here. Um, let me see something. Here we go. All right, man, you break them off. Oh, I not What's up? I did not expect this one. I thought it was going to be some other, but in the back of my mind, I was like, what's the odds of him coming with some big meat stuff? I should have known right then and there. It was something. I knew it had to have been that at least. Yo, it's crazy, man. So we going we gonna to keep it 100, man. Shout out my homie Smokey, man. Y'all all go follow Smokey, man. 4556, man. Omaha, Nebraska. This story is going to come out pretty soon, but a lot of people already got it. And you see Cam Capone got his got his watermark all over it. That's what made me think maybe this was something that got to Blue Da Vinci hands. And Blue Da Vinci brought it there because I know him and Cam is cool. Also, I know this paperwork coming straight out of Cali. So let's just go ahead and read it, man. It's a information from the DEA Atlanta agents. Monitored some but not all of calls between Gatling, Suarez, and CSI. On August 5th, 2012. Now, Gatling, for people who don't know, he is a member of Black Mafia family out of St. Louis. Um, this dude Suarez. Uh, let's go, let's read down a little bit further. So, this dude Suarez was locked up with Big Meach. Um, when he got out of jail, he linked up with this dude, Dion Gatling, a member of St. Louis, BMF, an associate of Demetrius Flannery. Um, and he was set up to traffic some drugs using his trucking company to St. Louis. Um, this is actually Suarez's paperwork. So if you see where it say right here, DEA St. Louis agents revealed two large quantities of drug seizures from a truck operated by Suarez's trucking company. The affidavit attested that based on the information CS1 provided to DEA agents, Flannery, Big Meech, and Suarez became associated while both were incarcerated. And for monetary gain, Flannery arranged through CS1 for Suarez to provide cocaine and multiple kilogram quantities to Gatlin. So that was something that 
hey, this is a breaking story. Like I said, it's a lot of people uh, probably on the low, on the low, low. I know a lot of people probably didn't want to share this story or didn't want to put it out. But this is breaking news, man. Uh, Big Meech was sentenced to what? 30, fag uh, 30 years in 2005. Yep. So him and Terry, him and Terry. So we're going to get to Terry, too, because I heard some shit about Terry. But Big Meech was sentenced to, <laughs> to 30 years in 2005, meaning that his out date on a Fed case should be no later than, say, what, two, 2032, 2033, something like that? Oh, I'm about to say his original out date was 2030 something. Right. He's getting out next year. He uh, uh news just broke. Big Meach got a third of his sentence cut. You know, Terry already got out due to the, the COVID stuff. They they said it was his health. That's what they said. It was his health. That's why he got out during the COVID. But there's a lot of people who are saying that Big Meach locked up with this dude Suarez in 2012. Um, Suarez gets out. And Big Meech, man, with the help of some other BMF people, um, CS1, they put the play together and they got Suarez to deliver some shipments to St. Louis. And the DEA came and swooped in and got everybody. It just so, and Big Meech is in this paperwork as one of the people who put it together, yet he got time off of his 30 year case. Why these dudes is finna go sit down and do some more fed time, man. Hey, what you think about this, bro? Like, 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 let's keep it a hundred, bro. We talked, me and you talked about the dude G Face Trucking. Not that his yep. trucking company got anything to do with this, but you know what I mean? It's a lot of dudes that's telling. You know, to be honest with you, man, like, I remember when this story kind of first broke when Blue Da Vinci was talking about it. I kind of thought, you know, like he was hating and stuff. You know, I kind of thought, even the whack, I just thought whack was trying to run a play, you know, because sometimes it seemed like that's what he do. But the more and more I sat back and thought about it, I'm like, I'm like, man, we can hate whacking him all we want, man, but we can't lie. Sometimes he he be putting stuff out there that I had you thinking, and you be thinking it's, it's, it's bull, and then it comes out to be true. So now looking back at it, I'm like, man, they, they've been trying to tell us this whole time. But we got people like me and a few others, you know, the, the ones that wanted to believe that it was still some, some Mohicans left. You know what I mean? But it ain't like that no more, man. Like, Big Meats was the last of a dying breed. He was the last hope. The they great say he was hope. the last one to do it. You know what I'm saying? On, the, on that major good. level. Yeah, yeah, like that. So now I'm just thinking, like, at this point, when somebody say, somebody telling, I, I don't I don't doubt it, man. Like, it's not going to be something that I second guess. It's probably going to be something I'm going to go with first. I might not give my opinion, but deep down inside, I'm just I'm probably gonna believe it off the rip because it's too there's just too much going on. The paperwork does not say that Big Meech on purpose did this. Man, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what we doing now, man? Come on. I'm just bro. saying <laughs> it say that he set up his his I guess that dude was his rappy or his not his rappy, but his bunkie. You know what I'm saying? I guess the dude yeah. Suarez was his bunkie or something. He had some shit waiting for him when he got out of jail. It just so happened that the person he had waiting for him was a goddamn confidential source. And like I said, they put me name in the paperwork as one of the people in this 2012. This is a 2012 drug case while Meach was already in the feds. Let me ask you this. Why do you think this all of a sudden is coming out now? Um, that's a good question. I think I think it have to do with the popularity of the BMF series. Um, I think it so has do to you do with, like I said, you, you, you think know? people are trying to stop his motion? Yeah, Big Meech is about to come home. Like I just said, all of the news came out. Big Meech about to come home. He got the show on Stars. His son is 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 you know uh, uh, on TV dating R and B superstars. You know they in a different lane. The the Flannery family, yeah. the BMF whole situation is in a different lane. I, I personally think it have to do with Blue Da Vinci. Um, you know, BMF yeah. painted him as a snitch. They they left him out the show, and he's been upset about that. So we're gonna call this blues revenge. It it seemed like it's blues revenge. Like I said, man, I got that paperwork. Like I'm I'm gonna show it one more time. 
But I got that paperwork from a person that I'm close to. Like I said, he was a little slick talking with me, talking about do I know how to read the paperwork and all this shit. Listen, bro, I started this shit.